Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ori, and welcome back to EU4 and the Colorful Cow campaign, where we are playing as Hamburg, going for the Bounty Coup achievement. So, last episode, we went ahead and created the uh, trade city of Stockholm and uh, started up a trade league. So we get some pretty solid trade power here in the Baltic now, thanks to that, mainly because of Stockholm transferring our tr their... Uh, half of their trade power over to us from the looks of it. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, we have plenty of money. We're at peace, so I think we do need to go ahead and start upgrading these centers of trade in Lubeck. I don't like not have. I don't... I, I have that. Excuse me. I don't like having... Uh, not having majority control here in Lubeck. I feel if we have majority control, we can just pull way more cash over. And I mean, eventually we're going to need to kill Lubeck, Bremen, and uh, Verdun, as well as Deep Martian, just to get our hands on, uh, just to get rid of most of these nations, as well as Denmark, but all in due time, all in due time. So first thing we're going to do, instead of doing the uh, trade company investments, we have we make plenty of money every month. I do want to upgrade these. We're going to go ahead and upgrade both Straussland and uh, Ostiland. 200 ducats a pop there, so I think it is, eventually those will pay for themselves, but it's not just the... Um, it's not just the trade power I wanted, it's the dev cost, the institution spread, like especially the institution spread in harbors. We haven't even hit printing press yet, which is kind of, which actually surprises me quite a bit. I thought we would have, uh, well, I, I suppose that's not strictly true. Uh, I thought we would have hit printing press by now. It's only 1546. Good morning, uh, Ori. If you couldn't tell, it is uh, a little early for me still. I'm not 100% awake. I do apologize for that. Uh, let's see, actually, which gets more? They both get the same. So we're definitely going to build marketplaces down here. Uh, we have a Merc going over here to Calabar to pick up that last center of trade. We did pick up Benguela. Fantastic. We're going to start working our way up here into uh, Sub-Saharan Africa in the not-too-distant future. But one thing I really think we actually need to do is... Uh, we're a little lacking on al on strong allies, I should say, right now. I mean, we're allied to Stockholm, obviously, and we kind of have to do that because he's a member of our trade league. Well, we don't have to be allied to him now that I, now that I think about it, but it's a good idea because otherwise, I get this strange feeling like Russia might just come uh, knocking. E well, they might do that anyway. I'm not sure. We're gonna continue to improve with France, obviously. We definitely need to be friendly with France. Um. And beyond that, I don't think there's really anything else we can do while uh, staying paused, so let's get right into it. I don't really care about being over the uh, relation or uh, military leader cap right now, because look at this. We make so many monarch points every month. That's, ah, uh, the, pow the power of infinite re-elections. I really have been, ah, uh, I'm, so I'm so enjoying the uh, government reforms from Dharma. Speaking of which, we are actually in one... 27.2 uh the poland patch and i haven't mentioned this in previous episodes i meant to talk about it but uh, i think i actually might have talked about it in the earlier hamburg episodes but one of the cool things in uh 127.2 is that we could uh upgrade this <laughs> we can upgrade our su we you, we can upgrade subjects um Centers of trade, so that's part of the reason I uh, made Stockholm. I don't know if they technically count as a subject, but we'll find out. Um, I know we could do it with man, because we are. De I'm definitely planning on feeding man um, a fair bit of land over here in the um, in the uh, British Isles, just to kind of make, uh, yeah, just to kind of have him deal with it for the time being until we can really get. Um, to that uh, global power stage in the campaign, which we're pretty quickly approaching in all honesty, and that's mainly due to uh, we're gonna have a stranglehold on the Ivory on the uh, Ivory Coast here before too much longer, and that's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be pulling quite a bit of money up to the channel with that, and then as soon as we can start jumping over into England and getting more centers of trade here within the channel, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, Hamburg is going to become a trading superpower, which is kind of the idea of this campaign. I've never really played, like, a super heavy trade-focused campaign. So, without any further ado, let's get right back into it. Brunswick is, uh, no longer allied to us. Uh, I'll give you military access, man. That's fine. 
I think we're going to improve with Bohemia. Like I've said, well, we have improved quite a bit with Bohemia. It's that unlawful territory from uh, the HRE, which is relatively annoying. Um, We have some prestige, actually. We have 100 power projection, but I'm tempted to go uh, to scornfully insult Austria. Let's just do it. Yeah, we're going to scornfully insult Austria. This is going to make uh, Bohemia like us a bit better. Let's see here. We'll go ahead and do it. I will burn the prestige on that. Nice. That gets us uh, up to negative six. So I think we are going to improve relations with Bohemia still. There's no reason not to. I definitely don't want him to uh, kill us, basically. Apparently, Lithuania has uh, solved their religious turmoil issues. Teutonic Order is kind of struggling a little bit. Um, I think Bohemia is going to probably stay strictly Catholic, looking at it. Well, I don't know yet. The... Well, you never know. You never know. Saxony, uh, I thought Saxony was going to go Protestant, and look what happened there. Alright, the army's a little scattered right now, but I think that's fine in all honesty, because we do have a bit more force limit to play with now. So I think we can actually start beefing up these two stacks uh, separately. Let's pull back from D Bohemia. We did get to plus three there, which is fine. Ooh, 25 reasons on an alliance. You know, honestly, I think we can... If we stop um, taking land within the HRE for a little while, I think we'll be able to get this alliance with Bohemia. And I would be okay with that, mainly because it's just a stronger power that we would be allied to. And he's also rivaling um, Austria and the Teutonic Order, both of, uh, both of whom we have rivaled. So let's see here. What can we do? Well, of course... What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to build the other marketplace down here in uh, Fort Dorothea. We should have uh, the colonists in Calabar very shortly. Actually, we'll just leave these guys here. I might even colonize uh, Ferdinand Poe just because. Well, no, we'll probably... Um, hmm, let's see. Is Ben in a one province minor? Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Another trade league member. Hooray! <laughs> I wonder what that's going to do to our trade power. Wow, hey, there's another two ducats a month. That is sick. Oh, so we have 25% control here. Um, we transfer to the Caribbean because we don't have a merchant to throw down there currently. And you know, I actually think it's probably worth, um, pulling the guy out of Saxony, to be honest. You know, it's probably, actually, let's pull the guy out of the Baltic because that's the least place we're, um, transferring from. That sentence made more sense in my head than it did when it, uh, actually came out of my mouth as tends to happen here on the channel fairly often <laughs> all right so he'll be down there in a couple of months we might have a bit of a uh, we'll have a bit of a downgrade in income until then what i think we're gonna do though um with these four light ships is i think we're actually gonna send these back out to uh explore some more because we can do some more exploration South Atlantic. Yeah, let's go explore the South Atlantic more. And then as far as this fleet goes, I will break this one light ship off. Upgrade it because it's only a bark. What are you guys doing? You're protecting trade in Lubeck. You're protecting trade there. Um, I might actually send this one ship down to the... Uh, yeah, we're going to send it down to the Ivory Coast. We actually have majority trade power down in the Ivory Coast. I just realized that now. That's cool. That is pretty cool. Um, let's see. Oh, we still need to add this to a trade company. There we go. Let's see. It'll probably update after the month, but uh, it'll be cool to see what happens there. What about... Let's check France. Do they want to be friends? Not quite. Um, as far as Bohemia goes, let's see. Is there any way we can uh, boost military or boost relations with them? If we were a great power, which we're pretty close to being overall, we could. But at the same time, I don't know. 
So let's go ahead and start these stacks of drilling. We don't really have to worry about money right now. We're making 21 ducats a month. Let's get a 10th infantry in there. And I think what we're going to do, because we have an overabundance of monarch points, is we're actually going to do some dev bombing now. The question is, what do we dev bomb? Can I develop Stockholm? I don't think so. Okay, so Stockholm is, uh, yeah, they're not technically our subject. Which I'm okay with, in all honesty. Hmm, should we just dev bomb Amsterdam some more? You know what, if we're gonna do that, let's just wait. I think we are gonna wait until uh, printing press spawns, and then we can just dev bomb it. Uh, very quickly, we've improved as much as we can with France. I don't see it being, I don't see an alliance, uh, an alliance being all that likely there. Let's see. Let's go ahead and improve with Stockholm, I guess. We might as well. We might as well. I see no reason not to. We have allied them, and I'm, that's... I mean, it might have been a bit of a misplay, but at the same time, I've never really played a Merchant Republic with Trade League, so... This is all a learning experience. And I will take 73 ducats. Thank you very much. So, here we can go ahead and add... I think, actually, what I'm going to do is I might split the uh, cav here and send two of them over there. And then what, I, then what we'll do is uh, balance out this stack with three infantry and two cannons, which is going to put us over force limit, but you know what? We have the money to pay for it. We don't have the manpower. That's, that is uh, where we're struggling. All right, then. I forgot about that. I'm tempted to slack in. How much would we get? 5k? Not really worth it, I suppose. Not really worth it currently. Why do you have a... Oh, I was going to say. I thought that the Cav had a, the um, our 351 Mr. Hemi Dodge 426. Again, thank you for your contribution to the channel. Very much appreciated, as always. I think we are going to do a little bit of dev bombing right now. Let's, uh, let's look for provinces. Or... Er, um, well, obviously, yeah, we need to... Uh, we'll look for provinces. Duh, yes, Ori. Good job, we're looking at provinces. <laughs> oh, it's going to be one of those days. All right, then. Uh, moving swiftly on. Let's pretend that never happened. Let We can do some development here, and I think it, it will be a good idea. We could... At some point, I do want to create a trading city. But I think... Um, hmm... I still want to create the trading city in Lubeck, da in um, Staten, in all honesty. I think that is going to be a good idea. This was a bit of a misplay. We should have probably made the trading city over in Mamel. But uh, lesson learned, once again, should be just fine overall. Um, Beyond that, let's see. What, uh, what to do? We could build buildings. Might as well build that in Colding. That's an extra .11 ducats a month. No reason not to. Uh oh natives in Calabar. Trade dispute with Dahomey. Oh, dear. There are happenings in Africa. Hi, Dahomey. Here at Gra there's, there's multiple republics down here. This is a d Benin's a dictatorship, which I find kind of amusing. I'm pretty sure this merc can handle it. Oh, yeah. Mercenary is absolutely fine. Let's see here. I wonder if Kabu wants to join a... Uh, they're in a trade league with Oyo already. They would almost enjoy uh, join our trade league, so I'll improve there. We'll pull back from Stockholm. Truce with Aachen is up, which is a little scary. Okay, we've gotten a bit further around the Cape of Good Hope. Just a wee bit further. Um, We'll go to explore. I think we should go explore the Western Indian Ocean. Actually, that was the last of the South Atlantic, I suppose. Cool. That is pretty cool. I'm very happy that we've gotten... The majority of the centers of trade here in the Ivory Coast. And once we get uh, quite a bit more cash together, I think we're going to uh, try and charter company um, Nagoyo from Congo. That would be ideal. But uh, if we can't, so be it. No biggie. Not the end of the world by any means. Um, Trade-wise, yeah. Yeah, there's really not a lot we need to build right now other than... Well... No, no, I think we'll hold off until development. We have a few more years. Uh, Republican tradition to get the aristocrats some more power. That's the wrong thing. Ah, don't click it twice. Um, 
I mean, I'll spin the 50 mil power because we really don't have a lot else to do with it right now. This stack is done for now. I want to add two cannons and two infantry to this stack, but we don't really have the manpower just yet. I see no reason to worry about this uh, fortress for the time being. Let's see. Overstrict is almost converted. That's not. That's going to be pretty nice, actually. We'll get some pretty sweet uh, goods produced and local tax from dealing with that. Wait, can we make a trading city? Oh, we can literally make a trading city in the English Channel. It might be a good idea. Well, we've already invested in Ostfriesland a fair bit. It'll probably be Den Haag. Well, or it might be Cow. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out once we get there, in all honesty. No set plan just yet, but drowning in money currently. Oh, no. No, our guy died. Let's see. Where do we have our focus set? We don't have a focus set just yet, so I think we'll probably go to... Hmm... Diplo would probably be the best focus. Well, we do have Diplo focus. Never mind, I'm dumb. Sorry. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Um, I guess we'll go for the... We'll go for the military candidate, more than likely. We'll give it another month, and then we'll take it. There we go. That is going to hurt our overall Monarch point production, but I think that's going to be just fine. We could actually, um, yeah, we're going to hire, we're going to um, give this trader a raise. No reason not to. We make plenty of money. Oh no, hard times in Angola. Oh dear. Ah, oh, loose lips. Foreign spy detection. Meh. Not all that concerned. Not all that concerned. Let's see. So we're improving with Cabu. Or Gabu, excuse me. Um, they're already in a trade league, but they'd almost join ours, which is actually still quite amusing in my mind. Oh, wow. Okay, we can see all the way around here to Madagascar now. That's pretty cool. That is very cool, actually. I like to see that. As far as our navy goes, I think we need to uh, focus on upgrading it. I think we're going to take these seven war galleys and we're going to move them over here to Straussland. Uh, no, actually, let's go to Wismar for the time being. We'll go over to or Rostock, one of the two. We'll make these uh, seven galleys the start of our uh, Baltic fleet because they are much better in... Um, they are much better in uh, inland seas. Oh, Reform Zealots in Den Haag, that's fine. Uh, that, yeah, that's fine. Let's see, we can purchase an ability. The prestige might be nice. I don't know, though. Um, I think we'll just go for the prestige. No, I think we'll go for the uh, institution spread through true faith provinces. Because most of our, um, most of our provinces are converted. So we'll send Swirt over to deal with that. Um... I'm going to make all Protestant nations like me a bit. Ooh, wait a minute. That was Bohemia. Oops. Hmm. wonder if I send them a gift. Nope, that's not going to help. They have a pretty solid economy. Hmm. Yeah, I think a 14 stack with uh, Swirt, Mr. Six Fire Swirt here, is uh, going to be just fine to deal with these Reform Zealots. So we're still not to, um, we're still not quite to the, uh, printing press yet, but we do need to spend some Monarch points before we hit the cap. So what I think we're going to do is we'll go one, two, three, and that's it. No more. Let's see. This, uh, manufactory here in Schleswig is almost done. You know, now's probably a good time to check strategic goods. Let's just check because our goal, as we uh, as we all know, our goal is to um, be trading in both livestock and gems. So we have five percent of the market share of gems or livestock, excuse me, and that's going to go up once we get this next manufactory built. And I'm definitely willing to do some dev bombing here once we have more diplo points to play around with. Although at the well, at the same time, I'll probably. You know what? There we go. 
Let's just do that. These are both um, both livestock producing provinces with manufacturers already built in them. So let's absolutely throw some Diplo at that. Grand Banks Fisheries, that does kind of suck, actually. No reason to really be improving with Gabu anymore. I think we are going to go ahead and um, improve relations with Bohemia once again. How is France doing? Uh, yeah, they might want an alliance. Let's check Russia again. It has been a while since we've improved with Russia, so let's go ahead and improve with Russia. Has been at least a few years, and we'll go ahead and improve with France real quick as well. Let's see, who else does not like you? Portugal could be a good ally. Now, we actually have improved with Portugal a little bit, and I think this may be a pretty solid plan. Let's go ahead and improve with Portugal. Hey, we can actually afford trade company investments now, so we are definitely going to do that, especially down here. Let's start with Fort Dorothy. No, let's start with uh, Gross Fredericksburg. Uh, yeah, Gross Fredericks. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta get a quick drink. We'll try this again. Alright. Gross of Fredericksburg. There we go. Just had to uh, wet my throat a little bit. Let's see, local trade power production efficiency. Tax dev cost. Goods produced local production efficiency. Supply limit defensiveness. Now, what does this province produce? Fish and fish. We got fish and fish. That's, um. Unfortunate, to say the least, actually, out of both of those, we got fish. We've gotten fish in all of these, actually. That's pretty funny. Oh, we can actually make a trade post, too. I forgot about that, so we'll probably do that down here in Benguela. I think that'll be just fine there. But for now, I think we will go ahead and um, go for the local trade power and production efficiency here in uh, Gross of Fredericksburg. Because I'm pretty sure... No, these are in the same state, actually. So it actually... I don't think it really matters. Let's go to Harbor. Yep, in the West African coast. So these are investing in... You invest in this whole state, which is actually really cool. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Now, we're not going to worry about uh, making these states. Because then they'll get pulled from the trade company. Let's see. How are we doing here? We're at 41%. Let's promote... Um, we're definitely going to promote investments. That might actually... No, not quite. Not quite. Where is our one uh, ship here? Let's... I want to get more ships protecting trade. What are you two doing? You are just sitting there. I want you to go back to Fort Dorothea. Whoa, we are getting some serious exploration done. Oh my goodness, excuse me. But we're getting some serious exploration done around here. And... Um, Mauritius and Il Bourbon aren't colonized. I found our next colonies. We're definitely gonna blitz, try and colonize these as quickly as we can, because that's like a le that's like 22 development right there within the Zanzibar node, which is gonna be awesome. Definitely, I think it's gonna be worth trying to get some colonies going in the Cape as well to contest that with uh, Spain a little bit, because we are a merchant republic. We should be able to generate quite a bit of trade power per province that we have access to. Oh, we lost an advisor. Last thing we'll do, ah, uh, we'll go for the tax guy for now, just to get um, a little something back. But on that note, that is where we have to go ahead and wrap things up for today. So as always, I would like to thank you for tuning in and spending a little part of your day here. It is greatly appreciated. If you're enjoying the series, please do remember to drop a like down below as it really does help the channel and subscribe for more grand strategy content in the future. If you would like to help support the channel monetarily, it is very, very much appreciated. Please do take a moment to check out the Patreon. Link is in the description. And if you would like to join a growing community over on Discord, there is also a link to that. As always, my name is Ori. I do hope you have a fantastic day, and we will catch you in the next one.